happy to take your questions. Uh, uh, sir, regarding the manifesto and everything that was in it, uh, fears about uh, Hispanic immigration and all that, does any of this fall at the feet of President Donald Trump and his uh, rhetoric that's been growing over the last couple of weeks and his uh, alleged racist tweets and other rhetoric? Yes. We've had a rise in hate crimes every single one of the last three years. During an administration where you have a president who's called Mexicans rapists and criminals, though Mexican immigrants commit crimes at a far lower rate than those born here in the country, he has tried to make us afraid of them to, to some real effect and, and consequence. Uh, attempting to ban all Muslims from this country, the day that he signed that executive order, the mosque in Victoria, Texas, was burned to the ground. Those chants that we heard in Greenville, North Carolina, send her back, talking about our fellow American citizens duly elected to represent their constituents in the Congress who happen to be women of color. He is a racist and he stokes racism in this country and it does not just offend our sensibilities, it, it fundamentally changes the character of this country and it leads to violence. Um, and again, there, there are still details that we are waiting on, but I'm, I'm just following the lead that I've, that I've heard from the El Paso Police Department where they say there are strong indications that um, this shooter uh, wrote that manifesto and that this was inspired by his hatred of people here in this community.